Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Last Window, The Secret of Cape West. Thanks for tuning in. We are in the middle of our confrontation with Will McGrath, not Will White. I just said McGrath really weird. I said it like McGrath. But anyways, um, yeah, so we are talking about his parents. The ones that we've heard about all this time, it was his parents. Let's ask, let's ask about what's going on. So, who killed Kathy? The main person responsible is already dead. Oh. But their accomplice is still around. Their accomplice. Are you referring to... Whoa! Wait a minute. I... Wait, I have no idea. Let me try and actually think each option through. Okay, Patrice. Could have been at the party. But... She hasn't really mentioned it because... Like, she was hiding the fact that she was at the party? And Marie... I don't know. I don't know if Marie mentioned that she was there either. What is the evidence for either of- I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm gonna get this wrong. I have no idea. Uh, who's he- who's Will White been kind of like suspicious of or if he's been showing any sort of aggression towards anyone? I think he probably mentioned some people were suspicious, but mostly it was like Dylan, I think. Or was it Dylan warning me about Will White? I don't remember. I don't know. I don't know. Are you referring to Mrs. Patrice? Right first, uh, right first time. What? What? Right first time. I moved in here in order to be in a position to take my revenge on her. Patrice? I originally intended to crush her throat with my bare hands. Damn, girl. But then some- Oh, the fact that she's being threatened. The fact that she's being threatened. Oh, okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> then something appeared and got in the way of my plan. Me, right? It's me. I, I'm the thing that appeared that got in the way of your plan. What kind of revenge are you planning? Wouldn't you like to know? Pitiful. Just pitiful. No, now, Mr. Hyde. It hurts. So were you just gonna use me to get your revenge? And I'd be none the wiser? I mean, you knew what I did on the side, so you sent me the order sheet, right? I found all the evidence I need to pin it on you in this very room. And what evidence might that be? Oh, I guess I can show him s Oh, I, I should show him something right now? Uh, the fact- that there's, um, what does it say again? Wait, no, this is Rex. This is Rex. Oops, 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 oops. Sorry, sorry. I was trying to look at it, not show it. I was trying to look at it and I clicked the wrong item. Uh, 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 this one? There we go. Take it. Take it. Right in your face. Shove it or slap it right on your face. Here's your evidence. This is... It was you, wasn't it? You sent me the order sheet. Congratulations, Mr. Hyde. Was that it for that? Or maybe he wanted us to show him more evidence? Huh, I don't know. What got in the way of your plan? I learned that my mother's murder was triggered by the incident 25 years ago. And I learned that that was due to the involvement of an organized crime syndicate. A crime syndicate? Yes, and not just any. One that you're very familiar with. None other than Niall. Oh. What did you just say? Niall was- Niall were involved? Huh. I would say Niall was involved in that case, but anyways. They were indeed. How the hell do they come into what went on here? That's something I can't help you with, I'm afraid. All I know is that their involvement in the incident complicated matters. Oh, man. Wait, is he gonna ask me to show him more evidence? What kind of revenge are you planning? I- oh. I want her to own up to her crimes and show me how repentant she is. Then do it yourself! Don't involve me in your dirty work! You still don't get it, do you? It's much more fun to have somebody else do it. That's the face, man. That's the face. That's horrifying. You're sick, man. Spare me your moral posturing. You took the order willingly. No doubt you've been having the time of your life roving around the building, reliving your glory days. And it didn't take you long to realize something, either. You realized that if you found the Scarlet Star that went missing 25 years ago, you'd be able to uncover the truth behind your own father's murder, too. And how the hell did you know about that? What interest could you possibly have in my dad's murder? I heard about it. The incident from 25 years ago. Somebody working in the hotel at the time told me. Who told you? Are you referring to... 
Frank Michael. Uh, Mike? Oh, Frank? Was he there? <laughs> I'm brain farting. His own father? Or was it Frank? About the incident 25 years ago? Why would anybody talk about that? Sorry, again, there's gaps between playing. So if uh, this game is so story dense, story packed, so dense with story that it it's hard for me to remember details sometimes. Uh, wait, okay, let me think this over. Why would it be his father? Because why would his father know about that incident? Because he's the owner of the hotel? I don't know. Michael McGrath, your father. He told you, didn't he? Yes, that's right. My father told me the truth before he passed away three years ago. He helped me understand exactly what happened on that day 25 years ago. Mm -hmm. What happened 25 years ago? A safe was broken into on the premises of Hotel Cape West. Okay, okay, right, the safe that we saw on the fourth floor. The item stolen was known as the Scarlet Star. Okay, okay, the person who stole it was your father. What? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, man. It's true. My father died three years ago, right after telling me everything he knew. It was the first time I was able to see the entire picture. So you didn't know before then? No. My father and I never really saw eye to eye. I left home as soon as I could. After that, the only time I met my father was at my mother's funeral. Later, he collapsed due to an illness, and the next time I saw him, he was dying. I hadn't seen him in ten years. He was in a weakened state and in need of my support. Before he'd drawn his final breath, he spoke to me. He told me he was sorry, and that he had something he needed to say to me. He went on to inform me that a man called George Patrice had killed my mother. What? What's going on? Uh, there was no evidence, but he knew for a fact that it was him. I is he seriously trying to tell me that Mags's husband killed Kathy McGrath? He then thrust that torn old postcard into my hands and told me something else. That everything started 25 years ago, when the Scarlet Star disappeared. This is the last thing he said. That there was a man who stole the Scarlet Star from the hotel safe 25 years ago. He tried to tell me the name of the safe cracker. He struggled to speak the words, but never made it. His final breath had been exhaled. Right at that moment, huh? Dang. He died a wretched and lonely old man. It wasn't the way he wanted to go. Oh. What happened then? After spending the time to look after my dying father, I had a sudden change of heart. Although previously I hadn't really cared for him, these new emotions changed that. Almost without noticing, I was clasping his cold, lifeless hand and making a promise. I promised I'd get to grips with the truth he imparted to me. Get to grips with? Yes. I'd find out everything, and bring it to light. Make sure that all the circumstances surrounding my mother's death are known. I used the partial hints that my father had left me with and started to piece it together. I researched the building, the key players, and I learned that George Patrice was already dead. But that didn't deter me. I had to refocus my efforts on his widow, who had turned the hotel into apartments. Once I had uncovered that information, things got really interesting. I learned that the son of the person who cracked the safe 25 years ago lived there too. But how did you make the connection? How did you know that the person who cracked the safe was my dad? Do you really want to know? Well, here goes. The reason I knew was that he was in the- The reason I knew was that he was in the same business as I am. I have my own very thorough means of finding out things like that. And that's what you'd use to determine Niall's involvement too, right? Precisely. It also proved useful when it helped me learn about the jobs you did behind the scenes. My methods were infallible. Chris Hyde's son lived in this very building, oblivious to the events of the past. <laughs> it was priceless. But made me think. 
I had to find a way to make you start looking into things. And that's when you decided to send the order sheet. Right again? But it seems I underestimated you. Before you unearthed the truths behind Mrs. Patrice and the Scarlet Star, you discovered the truth behind me. Didn't you think it was bound to happen? What will you do now? <laughs> it may sound a little boring, but nothing. You found me out so easily, after all. If I attempt to delve any further, I fully expect Niall to come knocking on my door. Niall? Yes, they've clearly left their mark on this building. Really? If I even so much as try to uncover the facts behind their operation, I'm a dead man. Please don't misunderstand, Mr. Hyde. I'd like nothing more than to make them pay. But I realize the consequences, and I think it's time for me to release my grip. And you can live with that, can you? Certainly. As long as I'm alive, there's always a chance I can know the truth someday. That's the promise I made to my father. But for the time being, I value my life above all else. I see. The real question is... What are you going to do now? As long as that order remains valid, I'll do what I always do, and track the item down. An answer that does you credit. It's my job, after all. And the reward that waits for me at the end is more than enough to keep me going. As it should be. In any case, take this. Strange time to be giving gifts, wouldn't you say? Huh. I take the torn postcard. Why? One more thing I forgot to mention. There's gotta be some kind of code or puzzle or something on it. When my father- fa father brr, When my father thrust this into my hands, he told me that this was a vital clue to discovering the Scarlet Star. Okay! And that, Mr. Hyde, is all I can tell you. Wow! Wow! Every conversation with every character is always such a doozy. Okay, wait, so... Let's 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 recap that really quick just to just to make it so that I can remember the details in my head. So he's the son of Michael McGrath and Kathy McGrath. And George Patrice apparently killed Kathy McGrath, but he's already dead. Why why is it him though? Why I don't know anything about him other than he was a jazz player. He was like sick on the alto sax. <laughs> What? And then Niall's involved, and then Will's also in the safe cracking business. It made sense, because his notebook said, like, oh, uh, here's, like, when the guards are rotating, and here's how you get in, and the security system, blah, blah. So it makes sense. <laughs> uh, it's just interesting. So I like that we got to see that of him, because he's still, like, a really nasty, twisted guy. Like, that. that's very clear. That That it doesn't redeem him that, like... Sure, it makes you feel a little more sympathetic, like, the reasons why he's doing that. And, you know, he he clearly was emitting a lot of emotion behind, like, his change of heart with his father. And, like, I, I get that. It's hard. You, you have, like, a difficult past together with somebody and maybe in the future when they're weak in need of help and they have a change of heart. You know, I get it. Like, it, it does, it stirs my heart. It moves my heart. But, like, he's still a very twisted guy. But we saw a lot more to him. We saw a lot more to him. So, damn. This just y'all this game's really good <laughs> the writing's really good okay all right well will leaves the room so what are we gonna do where are we? okay my question still stands where was charles that whole time how did is he here he did he hide he had hid in his room that's him coming up like what do you guys think was the exchange because with no warning somehow he came made, like did he threaten him with a gun be like don't say anything here's i'm gonna i'm gonna shoot you if you say anything let me in my room like what are you doing or some i don't know like how did charles i don't know huh hi where'd you go is everything okay mr hyde yeah just peachy i was worried for a moment where were you you took the words right out of my mouth kid did you manage to get away okay yes just about he came back while i was keeping watch i didn't want him to see me so i quickly made my way back to my room Sorry. Don't worry. It was quick thinking. Besides, it's not like I could have hidden in his room. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, you know what? That makes a lot of sense. Because he saw Will specifically, he didn't want it to make it seem like he was standing guard in front of the- Okay, okay. But I mean, what was his plan in the in the beginning? Sure. He was like, okay, if anybody comes by, I'm gonna knock, let you know. 
So we didn't never really came up with a plan of what to do once Will came back. So I guess, whatevs, I guess. <laughs> I guess you're right. I found out some useful information, though. You know the murder victim from 13 years ago? Turns out, Will's her son. He is? He's not planning on coming back here anytime soon, either. It's probably best if you just forget all about him. He's not the kind of guy you should be associating with in any case. I see. Thanks for the advice. I'll steer, we steer well clear of him. Charles moves away. He's not gonna ask, like, what happened? <laughs> so I finally discovered who sent me that order sheet. It was Will White. I'd never have guessed he would have been behind it. All I can think about is finding the truth behind that- behind what happened 25 years ago. I think I know what I need to do. I think it's time I gathered my thoughts about all that's happened. Yeah, I mean, I need it. I need it. I need a review, man. Like, a lot's happened. December 25th. Frickin' Christmas was a good time, wasn't it, y'all? Wasn't Christmas just wonderful? Tony came to my room and gave me Rex's notebook. Written inside was a reference to Condor and a man called Jack Green. It said they had both disappeared in 1967. Rachel kindly looked into the name Jack Green and found out that he was... a uh, reporter. Right. Jack Green worked as a reporter for a publication called Los Angeles Beat. Rachel discovered that he had unearthed certain truths about Condor, and he had been murdered before he could unveil it all publicly. After returning Sydney's record to him, we had a chat. This led me to want to talk to Mags regarding her late husband. Her husband, who was killed 13 years ago, went by the name of George. Right. Mags' husband's name was George Patrice. He was the proprietor of several successful eateries around town. Mags went on to explain that he was killed during a robbery that took place 13 years ago. Hmm... So that must- that must be connected. It was either Niall or somebody else that we know. Once Mags and I had concluded our business, Rachel contacted my pager. I got her on the phone, then looked into the photos from the album on the fourth floor. I made the startling discovery of a certain person in one of the photos. That person was... Mags. Right. It was none other than Mags I discovered in one of the photos. It was in a photo showing a party dubbed Scarlet Star. In it, she was wearing the necklace she still wears today. She looked a lot younger in that picture. We didn't really see her, her face was blocked. <laughs> from a photo and the 8mm film that Charles showed me, we noticed that Will White from Room 306 appeared in both. Charles agreed to help me when I decided to go and get a closer look at his room. Thanks to the contents of the safety deposit box and the postcard inside the camera, I was able to discern a certain truth about Will. What was it I found out? Uh, he was using a false name. Right. I found out that his real name was Will McGrath. Turns out he's the son of the late manager of Hotel Cape West, Michael McGrath. The postcard and passport I uncovered inside his room proved it. After Will returned to his room, I put him on the spot to get some straight answers. He confessed to having been one, the one behind the mysterious order sheet I received. He went on to explain that the reason he sent it to me was because he was frustrated with me, he wanted to avenge his mother's death, he wanted to possess the Scarlet Star. Frustrated with me, I guess. Ah, crap! That's not it. He was frustrated with me because I never found out about my dad's killer, but that wasn't the only reason he sent the order sheet. Oh, crap. Whoops-a-doodles! Whoops-a-daisies! Avenge his mother's death, I guess, was the whole... This is the biggest thing, right? Okay, that's the biggest part of it. <laughs> hey, the other one's a correct answer, too! Right. The reason he sent me the order sheet it was because he didn't want his mother's murder to remain unpunished. He also shared a new, startling revelation with me about 25 years ago. The person who snuck into Hotel Cape West with the intention of cracking the safe and stealing the Scarlet Star was my dad. I could only stare dumbly at Will when he told me. The truth that Will shared with me didn't reveal everything, but at least another one of- another one of- but at least another of this building's mysteries has come to light. Why am I so keen on uncovering the truth behind what took place here 25 years ago? Thanks to him, I now have an outline that puts things into better perspective. Now I know for certain, if I search for the Scarlet Star, I will also find out the truth behind my dad's murder. In addition to those, I've also begun to consider something. That there's even more to this whole mystery than meets the eye. I have to uncover it all. There's so much. There's so many layers. Every player is involved. E every person in this building is involved. Every single one of them. Holy cow. Well, that's where we're going to have to end off today's episode. Oh my gosh. Yo. Seriously, the like 
really serious, like, reveal all, spill all discussions between us and all the characters are always so intense. They're always so intense and they really tug on your heartstrings, make you feel all kinds of emotions. It's so good. It's so good. All right. Join me next time for the day after Christmas. We'll see what kinds of insane things we get up to. See you next time. This is Axis, over and out. Thank you.